Okay, this video uh, describes how to determine the percent mass of an ionic salt that is in a mixture of the ionic salt plus uh, an, an, iner an inert uh, component or another salt that is unreactive. This is an experiment that you guys did before going away on spring break. And um, you should have taken extensive notes in this area, but basically this video is going to review what you did in that laboratory, and it is an absolute requirement and, and an important component of the native exam that you're going to take in just a few weeks. So understanding, not memorizing, but understanding how that laboratory worked is going to be super critical. Now what we're going to be doing is calculating the percent mass of an unknown salt. Um, the, that is in a mixture, all right? The molar mass of that salt is 82 grams per mole. So I'm gonna write that in over the top of the XA. We're gonna be using a titration uh, to determine the percent mass, all right? And the concentration of the HCl is gonna be a 0.2 molar. The reaction itself uh, or the reaction vessel down here, the uh, reaction flask is going to have approximately 25 ml of water in it. You should be, that should be very familiar to you. Um, you're going to have four drops of Moxie indicator. And remember that is going to be a green to purple endpoint green to purple endpoint. And we are going to assume that the original mixture that we started out with two experiments ago, remember this number, two experiments ago was 0.8 grams of mixture. 0.8 grams of mixture. Now, there's gonna be a series of things that we have to accomplish. Um, let me go ahead and uh, we, we will put the goals, the things that we need to accomplish here on a different uh, screen. So number one, we're going to have to determine, we're going to have to determine the mass of XA that is in the mixture. That's number one. Number two, we're going to have to calculate the percent mass of XA that was in the original 0 0.8 grams of the mixture. Okay, that calculation is the following. So percent mass of XA is going to be the grams of XA determined by titration. And that is going to be divided by zero point, the 0 0.8 grams of the mixture, then times 100. Okay, so back to our example, and let me go ahead and change the coloration here. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna run the titration. So we have 25 mLs of DH2O, four drops of MOXI uh, indicator, and we have the solution that came from the original 0.8 grams of mixture. We ha I'm gonna say this a second time. We have 0.8 grams of the material that came from the original mixture that is in the collection flask. So we run the titration and we will assume that we dispense 15.1 mLs, 15.1 mLs of 0 0.2 molar hydrochloric acid to get to the purple endpoint. So to calculate the moles 
of XA reacted. XA reacted. Note that the mole ratio here is one to one. So the first thing we're going to do is convert the milliliters dispensed to liters dispensed, which is going to be point, whoops, uh, 0.0151 liters, 0.0151 liters. Then this is going to be times uh, 0.2 moles of HCl per liter, which is going to give us, let me calculate it quickly, so it's going to be 0.2 molar times 0 0.0151. So this is going to equal 0 0.003.02 moles of HCl. Then, this, and I'm going to change the color again here so it's easier to follow. Now we need to use the mole ratio. So we're going to have 0 0.00302 moles of uh, HCl, and then this is going to be times, there's one mole of XA over one mole of HCl. So the HCls cancel out, and that means that in the mixture that we had, 0 0.00302 moles of uh, XA. Now to get to the mass of XA, we're going to need the molar mass of, of XA, which is 82 grams XA per mole. And this is going to equal so we have 0 0.00302 times 82. So we're going to have, as a total here, 0 0.2476 grams of XA determined by titration. So to find the percent mass of XA in the original mixture, right? Here's the original mixture, right? Right here that was determined before the experiment. This is the, the uh, mass, original mixture. So the percent mass is going to equal 0 0.2476 grams of XA In 0 0.8 grams of the mixture uh, times 100 equals, so let's see what we get here. It's going to be 0.2476 grams divided by 0 0.8 equals 0 0.30955 times 100. So the percent mass of XA <clears throat> is. 30.95% in the original mixture by mass. This is what we were calculating. With that, I'm going to conclude the review.